Good day! Welcome back! Our topic for today is emergency compressor. Right now, we are installing sensors connect to our panel. This panel is for emergency air-cooled compressor. On board, we have a designated emergency compressor, number 2 main starting air compressor that is connected to the emergency switchboard but for now emergency compressor is also connected in emergency switchboard but it has a separate system it means it has a compressor and there is it has a separate tap for its uses that is 30 bars but it has a crossover going to main air compressor starting air in case in in case of emergency this emergency compressor can start generators okay and then after that we simulate all sensors alarms emergency stops ah, sorry emergency stop because we modified only one not two emergency stop and then that's it after that we need to load test we check the cut in and cut out for this compressor first thing to do after starting check the rotation okay let's go let's start check the rotation for this motor if you're facing at the front of the motor it's here it's clockwise but if you face at the back of the motor counterclockwise as you can see the tank is zero pressure first 26 and then 28 that is the cut in and cut out but the default is 26 and 30 that's it As you can see clockwise the rotation is clockwise it's good this is 440 system connected to emergency switch port we need to check the new installed pipings okay. then this is the tank pressure gauge the tank design 30 bars this is the pressure pressure transmitter as you can see the running hours is still zero Delivery temperature 31 Celsius. Service due date 250 hours. It means you need to have a maintenance. Our system is running. Okay, we will wait. Then, first thing to do is simulate this is temperature temperature transmitter all I need to do is to pull it out I 
I need to pull this sensor and then this temperature is connected to shutdown must be shut down must be okay that is included in the shutdown the system is shutting down temperature sensor means our system is good and it detects the temperature it detects the temperature transmitter means it's shutting down by the way if you need to simulate this one you need a 4 to 20 milliamp simulator so that you can simulate this temperature but for now I only test the shutdown and the shutdown or alarm alarm indicates temperature shutdown now I check I change 30 cut out okay the alarm is cleared shutdown is cleared and then need to start first when you pressing the start drain drain valve will activate before on load this is the level oil level oil low level means this is included in shutdown I need to remove this connection to simulate shutdown for low level low level is activated oil level shutdown means oil level is activated and shutting down that's good you need to reset at first you cannot reset without putting back this connection Okay, it's tight, then the oil is mobile, Raros 8 to 7. Finish temperature, oil, next the pressure. Alarm is cleared, shutdown is cleared. Need to start. 8 seconds, drain valve will open and then it will close. It is on load. Compressor run loaded. has a one bar then temperature ah uh, sorry pressure transmitter this is the pressure transmitter if you need to simulate this one range 0 to 30 need a temp pressure calibrator for 20 milliamps. 4 equals to 0, 20 equals to 30. Okay, shut down. Go to shut down event. It is a pressure. Delivery pressure sensor. 
means okay our compressor is shut down it means this is good sorry the range for this pressure transmitter is 0 to 40 bars 0 means 4 milliamps and then 40 is 20 milliamps okay then we can reset because we already put it back we need to reset first we need to clear this shutdown alarm okay back and ready to start okay eight seconds drain start drain valve open that is drain valve eight seconds our system is good no abnormal noise rotation is good oil level is good low insulation cleared this is delta connection is delta we need to focus this one delta connection is 440 to 480 at 60 hertz 12.8 kilowatt 1740 rpm 125 kilograms it's heavy right and now i will turn off need to open this one I'll show you inside this box terminal box this terminal connected to Delta the connection is Delta because the nameplate is Delta 440 60 Hertz okay this motor has a thermistor and then also the heater the small the small wires are for the heater and the thermistor but in our system we don't need to connect this one because there is no wire or cable for this one Our system is good, our motor is good, no vibration, no abnormal noise, no ex excessive vibration, I mean. We need to tighten this one. By the way, the manufacturer is Hoyer. The motor is Hoyer, but the emergency compressor is Esper. I don't think I don't think so that is the correct pronunciation but S-P-E-R-R-E -E, Spear leave the comment if you know what is the correct pronunciation or I pronounce it wrong that they called Spear or Spear next it's a load test need to start by the way the load test is scat in is 26 and then the cutout is 30 as you can see that is loaded our compressor is on load we need to observe starts pressure to zero and then we will check the local the local gauge this is 0 0.3 then at the local gauge at the tank it's almost zero ok 
Okay, we need to observe. Okay, 3.7. Check to the local. Almost 3. Okay. At the discharge, almost 3. Okay, next. 11.2. Almost 11.2 28.9 Discharge 28.9 28.9 Almost 30 okay. 28.9 30 Compressor is shutting down. Before shutdown, the drain valve is open. And then, compressor is shutting down. Then, the mode is standby. It means standby. The standby, it is automatically run at 26. Local is 30. Our pressure is 30. Okay, this is non-return valve. Okay, going to the tank. The tank is 30. We will check the delivery. Right now, it's it has a small leaking, but we need to tighten. Here at the discharge is zero. It means our check valve is working good now we already drain we need to check the cut in we put to 27 okay back must be 27 27 must be the compressor must be run or must be start automatically 27 drain starts means it is good Our compressor is running and that's it we already checked the cutout we already checked the cut in and also the sensors is working good and also the shutdowns current is good this is emergency stop we need to press must be activated Okay. shutdowns means all electrical safety is simulated and shutdowns okay it's it's finished this is this is finished we need to reset and that's it okay This is how to set a cut in minimum 0, maximum 28. It means the range is 0 to 28. Our setting is 26. Alarms, lag. The lag is the one that we simulated, the alarm lag. User settings, set up new. Okay, that's it. I need to screenshot this one so that this will serve as report.
if you learn from this video click like share subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates and follow us on facebook barco tv thank you very much